Chad Robbins here with Robbins Plastic Surgery. Thanks for tuning in. You've been sending questions to our receptionist, Amy Roddick. Thank you so much for doing so. Please send more at receptionist at robbinsplasticsurgery.com. The next question we have is, what is an otoplasty? That's O-T-O-plasty. Great question. Otoplasty is treatment of prominent ears. Commonly, it's been called tacking of ears, although I think that doesn't accurately describe what we do. When we see prominent ears, we typically see that they have a couple of things going on, sometimes just one of a couple of things, but oftentimes when people have prominent ears, they don't have a well-defined antihelix. I know that's a bunch of plastic surgery anatomy jargon that may not interest you, but the antihelix is what we call the fold right inside the ear. There's this fold on the outside of the ear, that's called your helix. The fold opposite that on the inside of your ear right here is called your antihelix. See, there's a the system. At any rate, a lot of people don't have a well-defined antihelix. And so for those who don't, the ear oftentimes will sit off the head and will be really prominent. The other thing that we commonly see is what we call conchal hypertrophy. Again, more anatomy and plastic surgery jargon. But your concha, and that's Latin for shell, is this part of your ear, right here, the cup. The purpose of that cup, obviously, is to capture sound. We all have one. At any rate, in many people, that cup is prominent or it's enlarged, causing the ear to stick out and, uh, and have a noticeable and sometimes unattractive look. The other thing that we often treat with otoplasty, and I didn't mention this earlier, is prominence of the lobule. Usually we see one or some of these variations in combination. And so again, when we do an otoplasty, just like when we do anything, we customize and cater our techniques to that person's specific needs. Not everybody has conchal hypertrophy. Some people just have lack or loss of antihelical fold, and we just create the antihelical fold in those folks. But most folks have a combination of multiple things going on. So, typically when we do this, we do it under local anesthesia with some deep sedation. We go in here through the crease on the back of the ear, so there's no visible scarring. All the exposure is done through this crease, which is called your sulcus, and we expose that area. That gives us access to the cartilage. And once we have access to the cartilage, we're able to manipulate it by putting some stitches in and recreating this crease or this antihelical fold. We're also able to reduce or take a small part of the concha out. And we're also able to set the concha back a little bit and make it rest closer to the head. For folks who have prominence of the lobule, we also set that back. We want the ear to be nice and straight to sit about one one centimeter to 1.2 centimeters off of the head. We don't want it to be overcorrected or have any kind of creases that are gonna make it obvious that someone has had plastic surgery. Again, the devil's in the detail. We want it to be dramatic and dramatically better without appearing worked on. So good question. Um, we of course close these with dissolvable stitches. Aftercare is fairly straightforward in the sense people tend to do well from a pain standpoint. They usually take two or three days off work if they're working and, uh, and typically just wear a headband at night uh, to protect their ears while they're sleeping and so they don't toss uh, their head in their sleep and, um, and uh, hurt their ears. We also ask folks to avoid activity with risk of injury for six weeks, mostly sports type activities. Um, I talked about this for adults, but the most common folks we do this operation in are young children, especially boys, because boys tend to have shorter hair, have a more difficult time hiding that with hairstyles, and, uh, and these boys tend to be ages five to eight. Uh, of course, uh, adults, folks can have this at any time in their life whenever they want to uh, want to get a better or flatter appearance to the ears. So, great question. Thank you for tuning in. We encourage you to follow us on some of our social media posts on Instagram, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest. Um, we spend a lot of time uh, trying to put quality content out there, and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you again.